and they said that workers during the day had to use big lights to yeah. continue their work outdoors. So just incredible the it, impact of this fire. Yeah, you know, it's certainly thick out fires. there. And, and unfortunately, uh, one of the drivers for this is what we call a Santa Ana wind and actually mm -hmm. coming in off of the Rockies. Uh, basically a reverse of the normal air flow. You're getting wind coming in from the east, dry sinking air, and it's fairly strong and that is just enough to cause those red flag conditions and the possibility of sparking some fires. Uh, unfortunately, the peak season for that is in October, uh, so they're not really expecting things, at least conditions for starting fires to get any better over the next month, month and a half. Unfortunately, there we're going to keep the keep uh, an eye on what's going on in California uh, here. Obviously, a lot calmer 64 as we're starting off. Look at the dew point. It's at 60 degrees. I'm a little upset with myself. Could have opened up the windows, turned off the AC this morning with uh, just how cool things are. High temperatures today should be at around 85 degrees. 61 in Butler, 61 in Washington and Latrobe coming in at 64 degrees this hour. Franklin coming in at 59 degrees. Visibility not too bad out here, uh, at least at this point, but you'll notice if you are traveling to the west, maybe around the Cleveland area, they do have dense fog advisories in place this morning. So just be aware of that, that there are those dense fog advisories both along the uh, turnpike over into Ohio and if you're heading along I-80 heading off to the east as well they have those issues that we we're just talking about. Hey, we have a couple of things we're going to be watching for today. We have some moisture coming in off of the uh, Virginia coast at this point, moving our way. We also have a cold front off to the northwest. Both of those are going to come together later on today. will bring us a chance, small chance, but still a chance for a passing shower. Generally after about three o'clock is when we'll start to open up that window for rain. And the best chance for rain is going to be from Fayette County, Somerset over into Bedford and continuing off to the east is what it looks like. Not a good chance for rain today. And if you don't see any rain today, it'll likely be next uh, uh, next Sunday uh, before you get some rain. Had to think about exactly when that was going to be. 85, your expected uh, high temperature today. Isolated showers will be there. Winds out of the north 5 to 12. Here's how I think your day breaks down. We'll put the 1 o'clock temperature there at 82. 84 at 4, and you can see the rain chances back as well. More cloud cover also this afternoon. Sunny this morning, mostly cloudy for your afternoon. Here's your seven day 85, your expected high today. 78, your Friday expected high. Saturday, now looking dry, 83 degrees. That's a change from yesterday. And Sunday, rain showers, even some thunderstorms around through the day. A high temperature coming in at 80.